Welcome to Mini Machines 101 Volume 3. In case you're joining us for the first time, my name is Lex and I'll be your guide today as we finally get around to making some chips. We'll get started by discussing the mill spindle and the various tapers, collets, and tool holders that you'll most likely be dealing with as you use your mini mill. We'll move along from there and build on the skills we learned in Volume 2. We're going to take a dial indicator along with the wiggler to enable us to change directions in our mill without incurring any backlash errors and retain our accuracy to better than a thousandth of an inch. Speaking of accuracy, we're also going to introduce the telescoping gauge. Now, The telescoping gauge is used to accurately find the diameter of holes and bores that would otherwise be unreachable to caliper type measuring devices. This will enable us to check for things like taper and concentricity. It's used in conjunction with the outside micrometer and we're also going to demonstrate and explain that tool. The two together are a very powerful combination. We're going to go over the various types of drill bits and their use in drilling precision holes. Now, Equally important to the hobby machinist is not only the ability to pinpoint where we want the hole to be, but to be able to hold close tolerances on the hole diameter. To that end, we're going to introduce the reamer, which will enable us to hold close tolerances, once again closer than a thousandth of an inch. Many of our projects will require threaded fasteners like bolts and cap screws, so we're going to tackle the basics of tapping threads into our work pieces. And we're going to do our first bit of end milling by using the end mill to cut a precision flat bottomed recess to allow a cap screw to sit just below the surface of our workpiece. And we'll learn one of the basic ways to get an accurate starting position for the z-axis of our mill in this procedure. We've got a lot of ground to cover so we're going to get right to it. But again, before we begin, please review the safety section. Now if you've been with us from the beginning of this series, I know you're probably very familiar with this section. Nevertheless, there are thousands of unnecessary injuries each year that could have been prevented by a bit of safety first thinking. Reviewing basic safety info can help put you into that necessary safety first mindset. So please, review it again. It only takes a few minutes and it could really be of help. We here at Swarf Rat Enterprises want to thank you for purchasing this presentation and we wish you many, many years of happy, healthy metalworking. Let's go ahead and get started.